Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Legion's Crawl. For those of you joining me for the first time ever, my name is Abouts and for those of you returning for another series on the channel, I'd like to welcome you back. Now you might be asking yourself, what is Legion's Crawl? And I also asked myself that when I first got in touch with the developer. Actually, he got in touch with me on his game. And Legion's Crawl is a roguelike game and it's pretty much very similar to NetHack. But it's like a 3D version of NetHack. I really like NetHack a lot. I've played NetHack a lot. I've never covered NetHack on the channel, but I enjoy it very much. And I think Legion's Crawl reminded me a lot of NetHack. I think it's pretty much a clone to it. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game. You can see that the characters are like these kind of funny animals. And they're, they're all pretty cool. Uh, they've got a couple of different things to them. So if we look here, we've got Randy, who's the default, play with the default rule of this game. Uh, Aaron, a glass cannon. So every damage is doubled. Kill before you die. So that's kind of funny. And so you, you'll be pretty powerful, but just a huge glass cannon, as said in the name. And I think the characters just look hilarious. Um, Maria... Nut is reduced in real time. Zero nut equals instant death. I don't even know if I know what that means. Claudio, real time hunger. You cannot loot or buy any equipment, but one anvil and alchemy station per floor is guaranteed. So we actually get to craft all our own equipment. That's kind of cool. Amani, take all. No one avoids anything. Attacks always connect. Condition effect chance is 100%. Kaya, static damage. Damages have no random spread. So I think we'll go ahead and go with Randy, which is the default, because that's always the safest to go with. You see, we've got a couple different difficulties levels here. I generally like the up the difficulty levels on my game. So we'll go ahead and just pump it right up the legend, because why not? That's ex that's what the channel is about. This channel's about harder difficulties. Even if I suck and lose, that's what it's about. So we're going to play it on legend difficulty. I didn't even know there was difficulty levels in this game until I got to this screen. I played the tutorial, and there is obviously no difficulties there. We've got skill paths we can select, so we'll go ahead and select a skill path. Holy crap, this is a little bit more than what I was used to seeing. So what do we want to do here? Hmm. Well, there's a lot of really cool stuff. How about we do... I like healing. He, here's the rule. As long as your life is above zero, you don't lose. Let's get more at life. Recover life, etc. So we should select healing as a skill path. We can select a couple more. Spells are mentally tiring. Reinforce your mind. Ah, that's right. You know what? I knew this, actually. So basically, you get to pick these different skill paths, and then you get to reinforce those skill paths later in the game. And what I really like about this particular setup is that you can actually decide whether or not you want to be a mage or you want to be a berserker or whatever. We're going to go with healing for sure. I want to do melee combat. I'm not worried about gunslinger. There is guns in the game. They're very effective. I may pick that up, but let me see here. Do I want berserk? I want to build like a tanky unit. Spellblade. Usually learning combat magic at the same time leaves you just bad at both, but not with this skill. Huh. We'll definitely pick that then. Uh, spells are mentally tiring, reinforce your mind, so we don't really need to worry about that. Stealth. Even monsters need sleep and you shouldn't disturb them until the exact moment you want to. Sometimes things are just what you decide them to be. Make yourself stronger by just thinking so. You can get willpower. Survival. To be more specific, it's about keeping your life in non-combat related manners. Food effects. Because like NetHack, there is food in the game. Eventually, it comes down to if you are alive or not. Stay alive. Connect your attacks. Avoid enemy attacks. Always work. I like finesse. I think that's it. Nope, we get one more. Um, Berserk. I feel like we should pick something that aids us a little bit more, like cooking or something. If you have trouble keeping your nut value. Yeah, we better pick that since we're doing legendary. Might help us stay alive a little bit longer. All right, let's go ahead and play. So we're on the first four, the, the lukewarm cave. You can see here in the screen, this is our character, and this is where this is essentially the map you're looking at right here. Down here in the bottom right hand corner, this is where you're going to be seeing uh, different stuff you've got equipped, whether or not you've got a ranged weapon or a melee weapon or a shield, etc. Over on the right hand side, we've got our XP. 
And that's obviously as you kill things, you gain experience, you level up. We got our life, which is 20 out of 20. Soul is essentially mana, and it's 20 out of 20. And nut, which is an interesting way to put that, is uh, your nutritional value. But I, obviously nut is nutritional value, but I guess I'm used to seeing nutritional value NU. And when you put nut, it's kind of funny, actually. Obviously, it's all caps, so it's intentional. But I, I find it kind of just funny. So we got a nutritional value here, which is our food or our nut as it's uh, known. And then coin right there at the bottom. So, and then your floor level up in the top right corner, which is the first floor. So let's go ahead and navigate around. Um, you can navigate by clicking, I believe. There we go. So right clicking will move you. I'm trying to get the, there it goes. You can also use the keys. Your W A A S D X Z C Q E. That'll be all your directional keys. You could probably do it with the numpad too. Maybe not. No, it seems to work with these keys. So we're gonna go ahead and move forward. And we gotta find a weapon. What did we start? We better check our inventory. We started with two pieces of bread. That's it. You see our stats over here in the left of the screen. All of our statuses. Terrible resistance. Obviously, terrible defense. All of that because we don't really have anything else. We can go ahead and click on K and we can see the skills we picked. So basically what I was trying to say, and it probably didn't make sense then, but it'll make sense now, is that you get to pick all these different skills, uh, your skill set, and then you get to upgrade your skill sets as you play through the game and you gain levels. So obviously we don't have any of these yet, but it says right there to learn the skill, you need a skill point and a level of one. So we've got to get a skill point by leveling up. Let's go ahead and see if we can find a chest so we can get an item. I'm kind of afraid we're going to run into an enemy and die, especially because we're on legend. Okay. Can I get away from an air worm? I don't think so. We're going to have to punch it to death. Okay. And just like any other game, you can go ahead and press the middle key and you can wait till you heal up all the way. I may be wrong about that. Nope. You will actually heal up. So... We'll just hold shift and press the wait key. That'll kind of wait us up until our health is full. Just like NetHack. Um, ho I'm nervous we'll run into something. Hopefully we don't run into anything too tough. On Legend, you never know. Or any really hard difficulty level in a game. Okay, so that's a problem. Oh, they're both sleeping. Maybe we can get to the chest without waking them. I don't even know what this stuff is, but I'm sure we can interact with it. So I think it's kind of cool that monsters will sleep in the game. It really gives you the ability to do certain things. Okay, we've got unidentified short sword. Possibility that the short sword could be cursed. We don't have a scroll of identifying, so we don't know. I'm going to say this early on in the game. It's going to not be. Okay, it's just a regular short sword. <clears throat> Plus one. So standard gear for an average adventurer. It at least makes us a little bit more competent, so that's good. We gotta fight this mouse. All right. I don't want to wake these guys up, so we'll just ignore them for now. Oh, we're looking for a portal. Generally, in these types of of games, you do want to clear out a room, or you want to clear out the. I'm sorry, you want to clear out the whole level. I apologize. I had to take a sip of something. My mouth's real dry here. Uh, you gotta clear out a level because if you don't. You're get, not getting experience that you could get. And as you traverse through the floors, and this is similar with any type of game you play like this, uh, NetHack. There's a bunch more, but they escape me. I've played them before. There's a ton more. But yeah, as you, as you descend through the floors, it only gets tougher and tougher. And so if you uh, don't clear a floor, then that's just wasted experience. So you always want to clear a floor, so we will eventually come back and kill those guys, but I'm more concerned about getting us better gear right now. Okay, a buckler unidentified as well. Just don't be cursed. Okay, it's just a regular buckler. It's pretty rare to get cursed games early on, or cursed anything early on, but you never know in a game like this. Now, is this something I can push? Okay, I probably shouldn't just walk on stuff. Okay, so we actually got uh, crafting here. We can craft a minor life potion. It does take some regent. And, um, and we can craft 
And these are all really a lo oh, soul potion, a cure condition potion. They're all really sloppy. So regent, is that what this is here? Can we gather this somehow? This this I do not know because I haven't I haven't messed with much with it. We can press F1. That'll open the help screen here. Reload. Wait for a turn. Pass time quickly. Quick help. This F2 is hints. Um, zoom in out. Use assign abilities. Next ability page when you have more than 10 abilities. F2 is hints. You are hired to find and slay a necromancer who's causing horrible odor in the neighborhood. Follow the portal to move to the next floor. As you spend turns, you lose nut, which means getting hungry. Eat some food, otherwise you will starve to death. Strength increases max life, life recovery, agility, magic. Okay, I do know some of these. Chance of hitting attack depends on the attackers and targets defense. Depending on the difficulty, some items are identified, which means some of the property of items is unknown for you. You scroll of identification on them to identify, but there are other methods. Okay, so everything's going to be un unidentified. That's why I'm finding so many unidentified items early on is because of the higher difficulty. Unless you pick the easier difficulty, some items or some equipment are cursed. They cannot be unequipped and possibly have negative effects, which always sucks. Okay, so I wanted to see if I could find like regions here. Oh, that's a trap and it's amazing that I actually found it. I don't know what that is, but we're we're losing nutritional value here. So let's keep moving. We got three pieces of bread and we're going to want to find more and we'll want to interact with a merchant if we find one. Okay, we've got a bat in the room and we've got another chest. 41 gold and a wand of teak, which we don't know what the wand does. We could attempt to use it, but we will probably just hold off on that. Let's go fight this guy. Nice. Good job to all. We'll move up and move down this way next. We still hear creatures roaming around in the map. That's what those sounds are. Oh, here we go. We've got a chopper. All right. Once you stop hearing the creature sounds, that's when you know you've cleared a level. Uh, okay, we've got an anvil and a spider guarding it. Might use the anvil. Let's go check this out first. We got an old amulet. We're going to go ahead and equip that. Okay, you can't... Oh my god. It's locked. It's cursed. So it's probably got negative side effects. We still can't identify it either. Alright, there's certain ways to get those off, but we're not going to worry about it right now. Okay, so since we hit him from behind and surprised him, we actually did a special move on him, but we also leveled up. You can see that we're level 2, so K is to access our skill panel here. And we get to choose. Now, I obviously picked some very good skill paths, so it's going to be really hard for me to kind of pick what I think is going to be the most beneficial for us. I'm kind of wishing I picked something that maybe would help me identify items, but... Oh, too late now. We could learn basic medicine. There are surprisingly many things to do over spilled blood. So we'll gain one strength, three intelligent, three max life, and 0.15 life recovery, which is pretty good. If we do willpower, we get four max life, four max soul, two attack, two defense, and some strength, agility, and magic. Which actually, now that I think about it, Willpower might give us some magic bonuses that I probably didn't need. Dexterity is always good for dodging. Minus 10 dual wield penalty, so that's more for like a rogue, but we'll use it anyways. Mixed phase gives us soul recovery, some strength, some agility. Baking. You learn to bake food uh, properly. I think it's supposed to be properly. Uh, now eating is more fulfilling and even recovers some of your life and soul. 10% heat resistance. We just get some random heat resistance. We get plus 5% food effect, plus 30% food heal. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to take that. This early on, it might seem kind of silly to take that, but later on when food becomes an issue, you'll all understand exactly why I took that. Okay, so we can actually craft or recycle items. If I was to put the wand up, I can't. Okay, so material, I can make a club, a spiked club, a robe, or a woodman's axe. And we don't have any material, so that's not beneficial to us right now.
Okay, we found the portal. We've got two choppers in here. We'll take this guy out first. And we'll open this up. All right, we've got some material now and two bucklers. We've got a scroll and the regent. So we can actually, if we got another regent, we could go craft something. I can't get the amulet off because it's not, uh, nothing's, obviously with legendary, none of these are identify, uh, they're identif identified. I could use the scroll, it could be a scroll of teleport, could be a scroll of identify, could be nothing. We're gonna use it because we might as well. On what? So it's probably a scroll of identify. Let's use it on the amulet. Scroll of uncurse. Yes, that was awesome. Great. <laughs> what were the chances that I got that I did that? If I had used that scroll of uncurse on anything else, it would have maybe not have worked. So the amulet is no longer cursed, but it's still not identified. So, okay. So we still need to find a scroll of identified. I'm not going to take a risk and equip any of this until I find one. Well, which I won't know. Oh, I should have went behind him. I won't know um, if I find one until I just use it. That's a that's a, the teleport area, so that's what we need to head to the second floor. But we know that there's more creatures here and probably more items worth collecting, so we're not going to do that just yet. Okay, we, we ought to heal. We'd be silly not to. You always want to heal after every encounter. Especially when you fight a spider. We'll get this guy from behind. Okay, so these just must just be like nests and eggs and stuff. They're not actually anything you can interact with. So that makes sense. Another chest. We got a robe, some coin, and a staff that we don't know what it is. Could be like a staff that shoots flames or something. So it's going to be useful to try and use that if we can. Okay, this might be a little bit... Okay, I was going to say that might be a little tricky, but it wasn't. Well, we still hear creatures, so we know there's more zones to the map. Uh, we can't use the alchemy table yet. Ah, oh, right down here, there's one more area. And maybe a center room, too. Oh, oh crap. Okay. Come on, don't miss. Got him. That was actually, we leveled up. Okay, let's heal first. And then let's go ahead and pick our next skill. We'll go with... What do we want to go with? I'm thinking healing. Because it's more max life and faster life for recovery but I mainly want to move down the healing tree because I feel like that'll I feel like moving down the healing tree is what will keep us alive longer but this is pretty good too let's do the let's do the healing though basic medicine so a little bit of strength a little bit of intelligence some max life and some faster life recovery so we'll see actually how long how fast that recovers as we move that's pretty quick, actually. Okay, let's get some good items. Ooh, there was another trap there. Glad we missed that. I'm assuming an alarm trap probably sets off an alarm that summons nearby creatures or wakes them up or something. Okay, there's another door here for the center. Okay. I've got this path here, which leads here, so we'll just discover that. And this should be the last room right here. It should lead to the last room. Oh, our food's getting low. I probably should pay attention to that. So we'll eat some food. All right. If we don't hear any more creatures, then we know we found the last room. Oh, we hear more creatures. I don't see where any rooms are connected. There could be hidden rooms. 
Um, maybe like net hack. I don't. I don't feel like there would be. Is there a way for me to, let's see, to throw, grab, drop, uh, to name, identified item, unidentified item? Oh, we should have named that scroll. Well, I can't name it. How can I name the scroll if I use it? Huh. Usually in NetHack, when you use a scroll or you use something, it gives you the option to name it after you used it. But since it just burned it up and didn't give me the option as far as I could tell, I don't think it gave me the option. Okay, there's obviously more creatures here somewhere. Maybe I passed over some... Oh, right there. He's moving around. Oh, there's another... There's another creature here somewhere. Right there. Okay, good. I want to make sure I use another creature somewhere. We got to find him. We don't want to waste any experience. And we're playing on the hardest difficulty, remember? So any experience wasted could literally be the reason I suck later on. Could be one of the many reasons why I suck. Okay. Still hear more creatures. Ah, that's right. That was a critical, actually. Oh, we need two regents. Oh, crap. Here comes another one, too. We'll wait for him to come to us because we'll heal up a little bit while he's heading towards us. Okay. Okay, I hear something else, but I think in general we got everything. I don't want to keep walking around too much. Ah, trap. Because we're going to lose nutritional value slowly. So I think we're ready to move on. Except for this guy. There. All right. Oh, I stepped on a teleport trap. Ha! Huh. That actually sucks because that's nutrition that's wasted. So actually, we got to be a little bit more mindful of our nutrition, which means not as much wasted walking around. Every point counts. So, okay, but we're at the end of this episode. So with that being said, I want to thank you all for joining me. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I think it's a cool little game. It'll be coming out here soon on Steam, so definitely check it out. I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.